one of his family members bought him a Segway just for his balls. <laughs> All right, let me give you an emotional speech. Let me pep talk you. Like, get the f up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cut his wiener off. <laughs> Cut it off now. Cut it off now. <laughs> this guy's like, here, my MP5 will work. <laughs> <laughs> my sleeveless shirt with tattoos and my MP5 just took the helicopter mm -hmm. down. I think we should try and recreate this, Richard. Oh, snap. Can we? Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee's Veterans React. Today I'm joined by Tyler Merritt and Mr. Jared Taylor. Hi. You still love me, love me. I'm Richard Ryan. In this week's episode, let's do it. Woo! Bam! First up, Dustin Hoffman and mm -hmm. Outbreak. Mm -hmm. This scene is already bothering me. Army 1350, stand by to turn into formation to accompany us to Travis Air Force Base. Over. Travis. Uh, he's got he's got a Special Forces tab on his right shoulder. That's not right. Whoever was the 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 military guy that was supposed to be making sure that they didn't look stupid and didn't do their job. Fuck you, sir. How many times have you flown a helicopter with a PC? Um, probably never. <laughs> 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 yes, you sometimes go helmets off and just wear the headset. That's a mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But well, sometimes they get very. You go scared. full PC, like yeah. that's that's rookie moves. Don't make me nervous. He's oh, getting it. Way. He's getting it. They sped that up. Yeah. You're not going that fast in there. God. Oh, wires in a bridge. What do you do? What do you do? So I've gone under, but that is the less than approved option. Oh, they're about to go upside down? Are they doing a pitch back? Oh, uh, yeah, that's totally oh, not possible. Yeah. No, yeah. they're going straight up, and he's going to go full yeah, full yeah. left pedal. Uh, oh, okay. He went right pedal. Right. I don't know why he did that. That doesn't make sense. Uh, if you want to over-torque the engine afterwards, which... That, you yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. You want to spin I the know blades exactly. Right <laughs> it's beautiful in an ugly kind of way. Somebody called it a flying race car with guns, but that's bullshit. So next up is... Firebirds. Yeah, you've it's, his it's, it's his favorite movie. It's definitely his favorite movie. My favorite movie. He, is it because of Nick Cage? Absolutely. Nicholas Cage yeah. looks like a pig. <laughs> I mean, when I think of war hero, this is quite an Apache crew. Tommy Lee Jones mm -hmm. see, he's and go Nicholas back seat, Cage. Front seat, back seat, front seat. Tommy Lee Jones going back seat. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, Tommy Lee Jones is the aircraft commander. Riding in the gunner seat of this aircraft at 150 knots through the treetops is like having your ass strapped to the nose of a bullet. Look at this ET head right there. Oh yeah? That's old ET right there. That's called an OH-58 Delta mm -hmm. Kiowa Warrior. A little peak, a little peak for some laser action. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a buddy lays, you know? This is a Cold War tactics. They call it a pink team. Yes, it's this a, is a pink team. Uh, the yes. Kiowa Warrior flies Nap of the Earth, mm -hmm. and the Apache generally flies 1200 to 1700. Yeah, it's called high bird, low bird, and it sucks being low bird, because low bird is usually the person that turns on the light and you try to get shot at, and yeah. then high bird tries to shoot the things shooting at you. Yeah, shut up. The oh, pink team is, awesome. is bait and switch. You're not touching her, you filthy piece of shit. Funny thing about this, Richard, is a very Cold War tactic here is uh, the Russians developed a tank called the T-82 that mm -hmm. has an automated system inside of it. When it senses laser energy, it turns its turret automatically and fires around. Now, with this right here, the tactics were was to mass terrain mask using, that's why the laser is mounted on the top of the, of the rotor blades, so he can terrain mask himself, lays them, and then the Apache comes in and, and kills him with a, a armor piercing. That was a lot of knowledge, don't they? No, that's that legit. That? That's awesome. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm tracking, that's awesome. <laughs> that's too cool. What, what about that maneuver? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's oh he yeah, he yeah, just slowed like, himself down. That's the only aircraft that's um, it's got pressurized fuel tanks, so you legit can go upside down. It's called that's an RTT. Awesome. Whoa! Uh, you can't fight a fighter jet and win. I don't even know what that is. fighter jet is though. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got the black Did visor. You say MIG? No, no, that is not a MIG. MIG. Actually, you know, it looks like a MIG 1.4. See, MIG. Yeah, you're right. It was an early stage MIG 1.4. It, it looks like a I, I, I'm just like watching Tommy Lee Jones here. <laughs> you're trying to figure out what airframe it is. <laughs> look for the sweet spot. Look for the sweet spot, baby. Lock on. Did he just hit a fighter jet with a rocket? Yes, I'd wonder. It can happen. I mean, there's yep. <laughs> there's some skills, but you're hitting mm -hmm. a fighter jet with a, a rocket. Yeah, you can't actually fire the missile system without it being laced from the front seat, and there's nothing cooler than having a front seater 
who doesn't know where that button is. So, <laughs> I take it that's like, happening. I imagine right, that's yeah, fun. Brand new guy over in Iraq, like, hey, all right, laser target. He's like, I don't even think that's literally like the first thing you might have to do in the front seat. It's the only thing I can't do from the back. So right now, she is assembling no, that's a, a side stinger. Wa- that's a sidewinder. A, she took oh. the sidewinder off the side that we don't Do you guys ever... carry sidewinders? Yeah, you can have a sidewinder. Really? Uh, I think we have never actually put one on because okay. we have kind of like this. No, look here. at that. She is assembling a stinger missile right now. Yeah. No, that seems legitimate. No shit. Put it on your shoulder quick, 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 quick. Pull down the metal looking thing with your right thumb. You are now activated. Hide your ass. So that's the cool thing about fixed wing is that the only way for them to shoot in reality is to like dive from like 10,000 feet to the ground and then they have you like- just get to hover. Yeah, you I just get to hover and then get shot at. Now what's really what's really funny is you've got to worry, Richard, about <laughs> things above the helicopter when you're firing a hellfire mm-hmm. because once it comes off the rails, it goes up. Yep. And then it acquires the laser energy and attacks the target from a vertical limit. position. I love how you're just throwing this, you're offering this out to me like, hey, you know, just, just a, we got one outside. All right, we're going low and quiet. This is White House Down. Oh. oh. Is Those are White taps. House? So yeah. there, were so, there were so many There's... like White House movies, so like I forget I if this is the one with Gerard Butler or the one with Jamie Foxx. We've <laughs> got daps now. Yeah. This is impressive. You flew daps? No. Oh, no, I that, did not. What is that? It's a special operations. It's the same aircraft um, as, as ours Black with, Hawk uh, with wings. That's, that's been given wings and weapons. In addition to everything like Apache has, it'll also have uh, miniguns. Oh, so, legit. Yep. You feel like your big brother just showed up to the playground after you got pushed? Yep. When a daps, when a daps rolls into the... <laughs> That's <laughs> legit. Yeah. Are you ready? Right now, we got movement on the roof. What, are they shooting dragons? That... He just, no, he just used an anti-tank missile against a helicopter. Yeah. Who yeah. was the tech advisor on this film? You know what I like to do is right after my wingman gets shot down with anti-aircraft weapon, I try to come to a hover right in front. You you are uh, absolutely right. And then that way, Solid. again, who an anti-tank know? missile. Who that know? was a that was a dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy's like, here, my MP5 will work. Yeah. <laughs> my my all right. Channing Tatum. My got sleeveless this shirt with tattoos and my MP5 just took the helicopter mm-hmm. down. Next up is we were soldiers. What do you like about this? Man, this is a that's a different type of war. Yeah, it was. I mean, we, we, I, I like to say that we have what's called unfair advantages. Jetsons meet Fixed Flint's bayonets. <laughs> <laughs> and these, these, these are like, Can you imagine hearing that? Dude, like, no. I could not imagine hearing fixed a bayonet, company like, commander say, fixed bayonets. What? I didn't even bring my bayonet. Nope. nope. <laughs> I got this Gerber machete, though. <laughs> Can I just weld this? So the guy who uh, kept on flying the Hueys in, Bruce Crandall, his name is uh, Snake Shit. That dude just kept on coming, kept on coming. Everyone else like, there's no way in hell you can pay me enough to go back in there. And oh, he oh, oh, over he's over. got the dishka. This isn't gonna be good. It is. So we're talking the about cavalry is uh, here. <laughs> dun, yep. dun, 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 dude, you're talking about balls of steel. Those dudes destroyed almost all of their aircraft. Like really? he, he just yeah. kept on crashing, hopping into a new aircraft, crashing, hopping. In, like I think he crashed four aircraft that day. Oh wow! And just kept on getting that's, the new one. That's a man. Yeah. You crush an aircraft that day, you're like, you know what? I think I'm good today. Yeah, I think I, mean, I, think I did my part. I but hope, he's like, nope, I'm gonna hop another aircraft. It, one of his family members bought him a Segway just for his balls. So, <laughs> have you flown a Huey? Uh, I've flown in a Huey. You've flown in a Huey. Uh-huh. You've never flown a Huey. No, dude, that's a badass aircraft. Man. Yeah, I love it. It's a good. It's a good bird. Yep. Super reliable. I, I used to have this contest in my house with all the Black Hawk, a bunch of the Black Hawk pilots uh-huh. in, on Fort Bliss. Yeah. They would come over, we would drink a bunch, and then you had to take the Huey off and land in the center of the stadium in the simulator as fast as possible. And once you touch down, we'd stop the stopwatch. I always so you won. won. I always won. Yeah. I had some like Israeli pilot that showed me to take the Apache to its limit, and he scared the crap out of me. I told you are a hell of a chopper pilot. I feel, like, I feel like this is me. He can fly a tank. I, mean, I know. He's a good UFC fighter. <laughs> yes. He can, no. I, I love this scene because I feel uh, like someday this is going to be me. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Rotors are good, sir. 
Who is this guy? I just want you guys to come out and I'm swinging on the blades of a helicopter. Like, I can fly this. That's how we deal with heat seekers, chaps. He did a pinch back right there, see? Yep. Yeah. Yep. But he also stalled the aircraft. Oh, yep. nice. Yep, and then he's gonna restart it midair. Yeah. And get it up to 100%, and then That takes take a off. long time. No, yeah. I feel like Oh, he, that's impressive. Yeah, was that was, really... that right there, mm -hmm. the, he flew a tank. Later. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's yeah. the tank. Yeah. Yeah. The UAVs that they have in this are the worst part. Mm -hmm. Like, Why? wow, that's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Can you imagine putting that order form in for 28 canopies for a F-18 <laughs> Hornet? Like, these UAVs, oh, look, at, look at how fast, no, those are those not are, predators. Oh, sorry, those are not, those are your Air they're Force fire, Yeah, they're they firing sidewinders, which they don't carry. Colorado. They're they're flying at over 200 knots right here, which doesn't happen. The Predator has a lawnmower engine in it. It flies at like 60 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. This is something we <laughs> definitely need to test to see if- I think we should try and recreate this, Richard. Mm -hmm. Oh, snap. Can we? Getting a tank would be the- Expensive part, right? Maybe Dollars. putting four people in a tank with parachutes on it might be the hard part. What's a, what's a payload capacity <laughs> of a C-130? Actually, I've already priced a C-17. You did? Yes. An actual, yes. real, workable, flyable. Believe it or not, yeah. yeah maybe you guys have way too much money on your- No, 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 not to buy. <laughs> not to buy. Who can <laughs> afford one? We, I, we, we need to sell a little, a little bit room? more coffee. <laughs> I'm not drinking coffee, there's White Claw in here. <laughs> this is super hot, and I wish it was not coffee. Yeah, you're I, drinking coffee, mm -hmm. I have White Claw. Yeah. We're fine. Patton. Yeah, it's Patton. Yep. What are we going with here? This seems like an emotional it scene. It is, super <laughs> sad. But we don't have any like sound. A, is this when he tells the guy with shell shock to get, to get over it? Yeah, yeah, this is it right here, this kid right here. What's wrong with you, son? That's it, right there. Yeah. What's wrong with I'm you? I'm just, I'm just scared. I guess I just can't take it, sir. It's a good thing to tell Patton, who had balls of legit steel. So. <laughs> <laughs> look at the look on his face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Huh? What did you just say? Mm -hmm. oh. He's like, all right, let me give you an emotional speech. Let me pep talk you. Like, get the fuck up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a old school um, motivation. Yeah. You're not allowed I don't, to do I don't any know of that. Why, anyway. I don't know why we did away with that. Why? Nope. Why not? Nope. Yep. That's absolutely warranted. In a World War that. situation, yeah. we're all dead if you do not help. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Go bring him to the front of the line. Cut his wiener off. <laughs> Cut it off now. Cut it off now. That's, that's what we should start doing from here is like just JT dubs over. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to we're gonna re we're gonna redo this one, and I want you to do that right now. I'm not prepared for this. No, it doesn't matter. You got this. this. You yeah. got this. What's wrong with you, son? Are you oh, okay? I, I just can't. I'm super scared. I'm my commander, commander told me, no, this is the private. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. he's talking yeah, to him. Yeah. He's like, my, my you sound like commander a told me to, fuck, to fix bayonets, and I can't fix bayonets. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing. I mean, I know it's a world war, and I got this girl at home, and she's got red hair. And like I'm thinking. sorry, what? What did you just say to me? Another What's girl, he's got a, Jesus <laughs> Christ, you bitch. <laughs> Let me just, yes. you're stupid. Look at all these guys in here. They're injured. They have missing limbs, and you're over here whining about, oh, you couldn't fix bayonets, I got this red head at home. Get out of my sight! Get out! I want you to put him at the front lines right now. I want you to tape three machetes to his chest. I want him, I want him running against the Germans by himself by the and end he of this get evening. To keep his helmet. You're going to the front lines right now, and you're gonna have three machetes and no gun, and you don't get no helmet. But sir, get! I'm gonna shoot you. I'm definitely shoot I'll just you. shoot you myself. Get him on the front lines. See? He's got and, that and behind him, they all clapped slowly <laughs> once he left. Hey, good thing we got rid of that pussy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I feel like that's a, that's a, I was wanting to queue up See. some more clips, but I was like, I feel like that's a great way to just wrap this up. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You know what? I'm just not, I'm not even gonna take the time to do the random comment generator thing right now. We'll just put it down here. So leave us a comment below what you want to see us watch in future episodes. Big special thanks to Tyler Merritt from Nine Line Apparel coming out today. JT. Thank you, sir. Bringing the energy every single time. Hey, we're having fun. This was a factual one.
There was a, a lot of knowledge bombs dropped today. And if you guys find yourself in Savannah, Georgia, make sure you stop by the Black Rifle Coffee Shop over at Nine Line Apparel. And um, I think that's it for today. I'm Ron Burgundy.